Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be doing my May 2022 collection update. Now as you can see this is a little bit different than usual. Uh, usually I have all of my aircraft uh, up on the table but I had a few requests last time uh, to show my collection essentially how I have it from day to day because I don't keep all of my aircraft on that table all of the time. I have them in these cabinets below the table. Up there is the table uh, on top of there and then below here as you can see we have these cabinets. Uh, this isn't all of my collection, this is about half of the cabinets. Uh, along here as you can see we have my North American cabinets, my United cabinets, my 1 to 400 military cabinets and my retro cabinets. Up there we also have my uh, 1 to 200 uh, military slash fighter jet cabinets and then over the other side we also have my European cabinets, my Africa and Asia cabinets, my cargo and miscellaneous cabinets and my British Airways cabinets. So my collection has grown quite significantly since last time. I think I counted, I have about uh, 370 model aircraft um, in today's video. With that being said, I think we're just gonna get started now. Uh, we're probably gonna start off with this side, probably with the uh, fighter jet collection. Okay, so starting off here in the 1 to 200 military cabinet, here we have a NASA S3 Viking. Uh, we have a US Marines V-22 Osprey. We have a French Dassault Mirage 2000. We have a French Dassault Rafale. We have a Royal Air Force Eurofighter Typhoon. We have a Royal Air Force Eurofighter Typhoon in the tandem configuration. We have a Royal Air Force Tornado and a Royal Air Force English Electric Lightning. Next down here we have the long line of FA-18. Starting off here we have the uh, Legacy Hornets. We have a, uh, these are all US Navy uh, Hornets. So here we have a, uh, uh, a Navy uh, Legacy FA-18. We have another Navy Legacy FA-18. Uh, but this one is in the Soviet color scheme. And then next up here we have six uh, US Navy Super Hornets in various different color schemes and configurations with some of these are tandem, uh, some of these are single FA-18s. And then moving back here to the Sundowner aircraft, uh, here we have an F-5 from the Sundowner Squadron, you can tell by the tail. We have an F-4 Phantom from the Sundowner Squadron. Then we have an F-14 Tomcat in the Sundowner Squadron. We then have two uh, Top Gun uh, F-14s. We have an Iranian F-14 back there, and then we have a US Navy F-14. Then moving down here to the final level, here we have an Su-27 flanker. This is a Vietnamese Su-27 flanker. We have a Russian demonstrator Su-27 flanker. We have a US Air Force F-15, a Japanese Air Self-Defense Force F-15. We have a US Air Force F-22 Raptor. We have a US Air Force A-10. We have another US Air Force A-10. We have an Iranian F-4 Phantom. We then have four US Air Force F-16s in various camo color schemes. And then back there we have a Royal Australian Air Force F-35 Lightning A. Then next down here, moving to my North American cabinet. This houses all of my North American airlines. Apart from United, they have their own separate cabinets. Uh, but here we have two American Eagle uh, CRJ 200s. We have an American Eagle CRJ 700. Two American Eagle ERJ 145s. We have two American Eagle uh, Embraer 175s. We have an American 737-800 in the One World color scheme. An American 737-800 in the Regular color scheme. We have an American 737 MAX 8. An American Airbus A320. An American uh, Airbus A321. An American Airbus A321neo. And an American Boeing 757-200. Moving down to Delta. Here we have a Delta Connection uh, CRJ200. A Delta Connection CRJ700, a Delta Connection Embraer 170, a Delta 717, a Delta MD90, a Delta A220-100, a Delta 737-800, uh, a Delta 737-900, a Delta Airbus A319, a Delta Airbus A321, a Delta 757-200 without winglets, and a Delta 757-200 with winglets. Moving down to Southwest now, here we have various uh, special liveries. These are all 737-700. Uh, so here we have the uh, Colorado 1 color scheme, the Triple Crown 1 color scheme, the Louisiana 1 color scheme, the Tennessee 1 color scheme, the Florida 1 color scheme, the Illinois 1 color scheme, 
scheme, the Maryland One color scheme, the Lone Star One color scheme, uh, and the California One color scheme. Back there we have the uh, Freedom One, also known as the 50th Anniversary Livery uh, 737-800. Then here we have the Heart or the New Livery Southwest uh, 737-700. We have two of the 737 Max 8s. We have two of the 737-800s. And then we have two of the 737-800s in the Canyon Blue color scheme. And then all the way back there, if you can see that, we have a, a Desert Sand or Desert Gold uh, 737-700. And then we have three of the Canyon Blue 737-700s. Moving down another shelf, here we have Jet Blue. Uh, we have a Jet Blue Airbus A320. We have two of the Mint um, or the regular Airbus A321s. We have a JetBlue uh, Airbus A321 Neo, a Spirit uh, A320 Neo, and then we have two of the Spirit Airbus A321s. We then have Hawaiian, so here we have a Hawaiian 787-9, a Hawaiian Airbus A330-200, and a Hawaiian Airbus A321 Neo. Moving down to Alaska, here we have the Alaska uh, Salmon 30 Salmon 737-800, the Honoring Those Who Serve color scheme, uh, 737-800, the Regular color scheme, 737-800, the uh, Education Change the World, 737-900, the Alaska uh, Airbus A320, the Alaska Airbus A321neo, we have a Frontier A321, a Frontier Airbus A320neo, a Frontier uh, Airbus A320, then we have two Sun Country 737-800s, on the left there we have the older color scheme and on the right we have the newer color scheme, the newer one is slightly damaged at the front there if you can see that, so I am uh, hunting for a replacement for the newer livery Sun Country 737-800. And then finally, moving down to the final shelf, here we have the Canadian Airlines. Here we have a Porter Q400. We then have an Air Canada Express CRJ200, a CRJ900, an Embraer 175, a 737 MAX 8, an Airbus A321, an Air Canada Rouge uh, A321, and then finally here we have a WestJet 737-800. Next, moving on to United. Now, there are a lot of duplicates in this uh, cabinet just because, of course, with the United Hub, uh, you need many duplicates. So here we have... Um, we have three of the United Express CRJ 550s. Uh, we then have another three of the United Express Embraer 175s. We then have the Herat here, uh, 757-200s. The one on the left is the California uh, Herat here livery, and on the one on the right, or the closer one, is the New York Herat here livery. We then have, I believe, uh, seven, or no, six, a United Airbus A319s, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have the uh, lone uh, United 757-200 in the regular livery, and then we have five in total of these United Express CRJ200s down there. Behind the Airbus A319s, if you can see that, uh, we have three of the 737-900s. We then have two of the 737 uh, MAX 8s. And then here we have a number of the 737-800s back here. I forget how many there are of these, so I'm going to count them with you. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And then we have two of the uh, 737-800s in the Star Alliance livery back there. Moving down to the older livery, or the Continental color scheme, uh, starting off here we have two of the United Express uh, Dash 8 200s, uh, we have two of the United Express Embraer 170s, we have two of the Embraer 175s, we have two of the Airbus A320s, uh, we then have the 757-300, the 757-200, the 737 MAX 9, the 737-900 in the Eco Skies livery, uh, the older without the uh, scimitars 737-900, and then we have two of the 737-800s. Uh, back there we have a 777-300ER, we have a 777-200ER, uh, we have a 787-10, uh, uh, we have a 787-8 and a 767-300. Moving down here to the uh, new livery wide bodies, we have uh, two of the United 787-9s, uh, we have two of the new livery 787-10s, 
Uh, back there we have one of the United uh, 777-300ER. Uh, we then have two of the uh, 777-200s. Uh, these aren't the ER versions, these are just the plain 777-200s. And then back there we have two of the 767-300ERs. And then moving down here to my uh, brief kind of United 1-200 to collection, uh, we have a United Stars and Bars 727. We have a United Express uh, Blue Tulip and Embraer 170. And then down here we have a Continental. This is a 1-400 to model, but we have the Continental livery um, 747-400. Okay, and moving on to the 1 to 400 military cabinet. Here we have a San Antonio C5 Galaxy. We have a Dover C5 Galaxy. We have a Royal Air Force C17. We have a Royal Canadian Air Force C17. Uh, back there we have the NATO uh, or Strategic Air Command uh, C17. We have a US Air Force uh, KC10. Moving down here, we have a Chinese Y20. We have an Air Corio IL-76 behind there. We have an uh, another Chinese IL-76. Uh, we have a Royal Air Force A400, a German or Luftwaffe A400, and then behind there we also have a French uh, A400. Here we have a Japanese Air Self-Defense Force C-130, a Royal Netherlands Air Force uh, C-130, a US Coast Guard C-130, a Royal Air Force C-130 behind there. We then have a Blue Angels C-130. And then finally back there we have a Ski Bird US Air Force C-130 as well. Moving down to some uh, VIP transport aircraft. Uh, here we have the Japanese Air Force One 747-400. Uh, we have the E-4B Doomsday Plane. We have the VC-25, also known as the uh, Air Force One aircraft that everybody knows is Air Force One, but technically it's not Air Force One, it's just a VC-25. Uh, we have a C-32, which is also sometimes used as Air Force One. Uh, we have the Royal Air Force Vespina uh, A330 uh, MRTT. Uh, we then, back there, have a, another Royal Air Force, if you can see, uh, we have the Royal Air Force A330 MRTT in the regular, or the grey livery. Uh, we then have a French uh, A330 MRTT. We have a French uh, VIP Transport A330-200, a Turkish Government A330-200, and a German, uh, or Deutschland, uh, A350-900. Moving down here uh, to the uh, P-8 Poseidons, uh, we have a Royal Air Force P-8 Poseidon, a US Navy P-8 Poseidon, behind there we have two Royal Air Force uh, VC-10s, we have an Omega Tanker 707, we have a Royal Air Force Bristol Britannia, a Royal Air Force uh, de Havilland Comet C-4, we have a Royal New Zealand Air Force 757-200, uh, then here we have a US Air Force Arizona uh, KC-135, a Hawaiian KC-135, then here we have a US Air Force uh, B-52, we then have two of the US Air Force uh, B-1s, and then we have a US Air Force B-2, and then here we have four US Air Force F-117 Nighthawks. And we then also have the Virgin Galactic uh, VSS Unity, and then down here we have a few of my kind of limited edition cards. Uh, you sometimes get some cards with models that are uh, limited edition models, so I've got all of them down here. Moving along in what I call my retro cabinets, here we have all three of the British Airways 747 retro liveries. We have the BOAC retro livery, we have the Nagus retro livery, and the Landor retro livery. And moving down we have some Utopia aircraft. Um, I don't know these off by heart, so here we have the German 737-200, uh, we have the Animals and Trees 737-200, uh, we have the Chelsea Rose 757-200, we have the Tartan 757-200, uh, and the uh, Delft, uh, not Delft Blue, uh, we have the Blue Pool 757-200. Uh, here we have the Chelsea Rose British Asia Airways 747-400. We have the Tartan 747-400. Uh, we have the Delft Blue. This is the actual Delft Blue uh, 747-400. We have the uh, South African 747-400. We have two of the Australian 747-400s. And then we have the Rendezvous or the Hong Kong uh, British Airways 747 back there. Moving down to American. Here we have the new NG uh, American. American One World 757 200 
the regular American 757-200, and then we have the American MD-83. Moving down here, this is probably one of my favorite models in my entire collection. Uh, here we have the Golf Air L1011. We have the Pan Am 747SP, uh, the United Soul Bass 747SP, and then finally here for this cabinet, the Qantas 747SP. And starting off here in my European cabinet, uh, here we have my very brief, my very short uh, European short haul uh, collection. Here we have on the left there, we have an EasyJet uh, Airbus A321neo, and on the right we have a Wizz Air uh, Airbus A321. While I'm here, the Aircraft Monostore do have an exclusive model coming out, uh, exclusive to the Aircraft Monostore, which is their Ryanair uh, 737 MAX 8, so if you want that, definitely go and pre-order it. You can pre-order it now at the Aircraft Monostore. The link for that will be in in the description. But next to that, here we have my Air France A340-300, my Air France 777-200, and my Air France 777-300ER. It's very awkward to get to all of these models, but here we have my Lufthansa A330-300. We then have my Lufthansa A340-300, my Lufthansa A340-600, my Lufthansa A350-900. Then back there we have my Lufthansa old livery 747-400, my Lufthansa new livery 747-400, and my Lufthansa 747-8. Then next up here we have the Finnair One World A350-900. We have the Scandinavian uh, A350-900. We have the Iberia A350-900. We then have the Austrian 777-200 along with the Austrian uh, 767-300. Behind there we have the Turkish uh, A330-200. We then have the Turkish 787-9, the KLM 787-9, and then finally there we also have the KLM uh, Airbus A330-300. We then have the Virgin Atlantic uh, 747-400, the Virgin Atlantic 787-9, the Virgin Atlantic A330-300, the Swiss A330-300, then behind there we have the Aeroflot uh, A330-300, we have the Brussels Airlines Old Livery A330-300, we have the Alitalia A330-200, and the TAP Port Portugal A330-200 as well. Moving down even further, uh, here we have the LL 747-400, uh, the Aer Lingus Old Old Livery A330-300, we have the Aer Lingus Old Livery A330-200, the Aer Lingus New Livery A330-300, and the Aer Lingus Airbus A321neo. Then finally, as this becomes increasingly difficult to film, uh, here we have the Wow Air Airbus A321neo, uh, we have the Iceland Air 737 MAX 8, we have the Icelander 757-200, the Icelander Classic Livery or Retro Livery 757-200. We have the Icelander 757-200 in the 80th Anniversary Livery. And we have the Icelander Hecla Aurora 757-200. And then finally here, here we have the Icelander 757-300 in the 100th Year Independence for Iceland Livery. Next up in my Africa and Asia cabinets, here we have the Egypt Air uh, 787-9. We have the South African A330-300, the South African A350-900, and then here we have the South African uh, A340-600. Moving down, here we have the Royal Air Maroc 787-8 in the old livery. We have the Royal Air Maroc 787-8 in the new one world livery. And we have the Royal Air Maroc 787-9 in the new livery. And we then have the Ethiopian 787-9. We have the Ethiopian 787-8. Uh, and then behind here, we also have the Ethiopian 777-200LR. Uh, Moving down again, here we have the Air China uh, 777-300ER, the uh, uh, Qatar 777-300ER in the One World livery, the Qatar A350-900 in the One World livery. We then have the Qatar A350-900 in the regular color scheme. Back there, we then have the Air India uh, 777-300ER. We have the Saudi Arabian 777-300ER. We then have the Emirates 777-300ER. And then back there, we have the Emirates 
A380. Moving down again, here we have the Cathay Pacific Airbus A350-1000. We have the Korean Air 777-300, the Korean Air 787-9. We have the Vietnamese 787-9. Moving back there on the left, we have the Air Corio uh, Tupolev 204-300. Uh, and then on the right there, we have the Air Corio IL-62M. We then have the uh, Etihad uh, 787-9. We then here have the Air New Zealand uh, 787-9 and then finishing off here we have the Air New Zealand uh, 747-400. Then finally here, moving down to some Japanese models, here we have the Japan Airlines uh, 787-9, we have the ANA R2-D2 livery uh, 787-9, we have the ANA 777-200, we have the ANA 777-300, and then down here we have all three of the ANA A380s, we have the orange livery one there, we have the green livery one here, and we have the blue livery one down here as well. Then next off down here, here we have the Aeromex Go 737-8. 800. We have the Copa 737-800 without scimitars, the Copa 737-800 with scimitars, we have the Volaris Airbus A320 Neo, the Avianca A321 Neo, we have the Avianca A330-200, moving down to Cargo, here we have the Cargo Lux mask livery uh, 747-8, the regular Cargo Lux 747-8, we have the Polar or DHL 747-8, we have the Atlas Air Cargo uh, 747-8. We have the ABC Cargo or Airbridge Cargo 747-8. And then we here we have the UPS uh, 747-8 as well. Moving down here, here we have the UPS uh, MD-11. We have the Antonov 225. Then next down here we have the DHL 757-200 in the James May livery. My Jeremy Clarkson livery uh, 757 has been broken. So I am working on fixing that, but that would usually go in that gap there. Uh, here we have the regular livery DHL 757-200. Uh, we have the FedEx uh, 757-200. Uh, the FedEx 767-300, the UPS uh, 767-300, and then down here we have the Alaska Air Cargo uh, 737-400, the Alaska Air Cargo uh, 737-700, we have the Air Secure Columbia uh, 727, we have the uh, Boeing Business Jet uh, 737-700, the Four Seasons Boeing 757-200, we have the La Campagne. Uh, 757 200 the National Geographic 757 200 and then back there we have the Omni Air International Air Charters 757 200 Next, moving over to British Airways, who have their own cabinets. Uh, all the way back there, we have the British Airways City Flyer Embraer 170. We have the British Airways Airbus A321, the British Airways 757-200, the British Airways 767-300. We then here have the British Airways A350-1000, uh, the British Airways Airbus A380. Then here we have the British Airways uh, Boeing 77-8, the British Airways Boeing 787-9, the British Airways Boeing 787-10, and then all the way back there we have the British Airways 777-200ER along with the British Airways 333-300ER. Next down here we have the British Airways City Fly and 1-200 scale the Embraer 170, uh, the 1-200 scale uh, British Airways Concorde, we have the British Airways 747-400, the British Airways 747-400 in the One World livery, and then back there we also have another two British Airways uh, 747-400s. Here we have the 1-200 British Airways A380, and then down here we have three 1-400 uh, British Airways Concords in all separate registrations. Next here we have the Royal Air Force uh, Airbus A321neo and the Royal Air Force A330 MRTT both in the Vespina liveries. Then up here we have the 1-200 British Airways Boeing 747-400, the British Airways Airbus A320neo, uh, the British Airways Landor livery 747-400, uh, the British Airways Nagus livery 747-400, we have the BMI Airbus A319, the BOAC 747-400, and then finally here we have the uh, BEA uh, Airbus A319. 
And just like that, that does conclude uh, my May 2022 collection update. Of course, I do one of these every six months, so you can look forward to my November 2022 uh, update in six months' time. Uh, but apart from that, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and apart from that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.